so many questions this week about houses and everything else. When you're patronizing that thing, you're in its house. You live in its house, the House of Representatives. Okay, and then the concept goes further out to what a chamber is. Uh, chambers are, of course, rooms and hallways in a house. So you have uh, the initial house setting, which is a marquee over everything. It's just a presentation. And then you're in its rooms. And you'll find a chamber of commerce uh, in your own communities, normally, you know, countywide, statewide. Um, you know, and then you've got other uh, departments and uh, realms of the house considered as chambers when you look at the concept of the House of Delegates, which has full control over the uh, American Bar Association, which is a House of Delegates, of course, which is Virginia, Virginia, New Hampshire. Oh, and we've had so many questions this week about secession, and that's something that's everybody needs to realize what that is because secession means to take over an estate. So if you've got some CIA proponents of seceding from somewhere, you need to go into Black's Law Dictionary and look up the definition of secession because it's something that um, I explained to you that actually you have the definition wrong. And so when you're seceding somewhere, you're giving up your estates. Don't secede. Don't give up your estates. Stop supplying them with the consent needed to raise you. Stop consenting. Stop consenting. Just stop consenting. Okay, if, if it looks really good and sounds too good to be true, really look at the word usage and you'll find out that it's probably too good to be true. It's not true. Or they're trying to raise you in another fashion. I'll have the definition up in a minute, folks. Sorry about that. Um, just now I was reminded in chat of how sick and twisted this is because we actually, you know, we were talking to somebody the other day and they, they wanted to secede from California and I'm like, no, 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 no. And um, they didn't, uh, their friend didn't, sorry. That was actually last night on the show on uh, These Changing Times. You can find that at my YouTube channel, Tammy K 32 for Black's Law Dictionary First Edition, the definition of secession. In the civil law and in Louisiana, the fact of the trans transmission of the rights, estate, obligations, and charges of a deceased person to his heir or heirs. Number two, the right by which the heir can take possession of the descendant's estate. The right of the heir to step into the place of the deceased with respect to the possession, control, enjoyment, administration, and settlement of the latter's property rights, obligations, charges, etc. Three, the estate of a deceased person comprising all kinds of property owned or claimed by him as well as his debts and obligations and considered as a legal entity according to the notion of the Roman law for certain purposes such as collecting assets and paying debts. Succession is the transmission of the rights and obligations of the deceased to the heirs. Succession signifies also the estates rights and charges which a person leaves after his death, whether the property exceeds the charges or the charges exceed the property, or whether he was only left charges without any property. The succession not only includes the rights and obligations of the deceased as they exist at the time of his death, but all that has accrued thereto since the opening of the succession, as also the new charges to which it becomes subject. Finally, secession signifies also the right that right by which the heir can take possession of the estate of the deceased, such as it may be. Secession is the coming in of another to take the property of one who dies without disposing of it by will. Okay, that is what your government did to you in the 1600s. They seceded your estate. When they claim in the history books that they seceded from England, that that is not true. They seceded your estates. They took over for you as a dead entity and what had happened was at that time it was a penal colony it still is a penal colony but at that time when the human beings were brought here they didn't really immigrate um, and you have to look in their own laws to find these things out um, they were imported uh, more than they were immigrating here they were all declared civilly dead and at that death is uh, when the rights and benefits uh, start to be not only taken away, but also granted through that 
you know, as long as you're a citizen, you're claiming to be civilly dead. Civil death from Black's first edition. Uh, that change in a person's legal and civil condition, which deprives him of civic rights and jur judicial capacities and qualifications as natural death extinguishes his natural condition. It follows as a consequence of being attained of treason or felony in English law and anciently of entering a monastery or abjuring the realm. Now, you have to look at the word abjuring the realm because you were the judge, you were the jury, you were the authority prior to the time they seceded your estates and taught you to be represented by somebody else. You abjured the realm. You're civilly dead until you come back in and you claim your estate. And that's what my whole process is about. Not patronizing me, not patronizing any one of us. It's patronizing your own house. Coming back into reality and saying, hey, look, I'm not a criminal. You guys are criminals. This is a criminal enterprise. The definition of confederacy is a criminal enterprise. It's also known as a more technical term. It's conspiracy. Okay, so you have to get this thing called the government out of your head and stop believing that it's got some form of authority over you. You are the authority. And once you allow it to represent you in some way, you are civilly dead. You've abjured the realm. They're holding on to your state for you, and part of your benefits is getting beat, hell beat out of you by the cops, uh, stuffed in jail to generate revenue, stuck into institutionalized states, hospital, mental institution, prison setting, based on the action of morality and the psychological warfare applied against you through just taxation and consumption alone. Uh, you're pulled around at any given moment in time. Uh, you're being moved around to be more beneficial for that state. It's, it's just, it's profound to see that, you know, yes, we were all indoctrinated, but it's time now for you to just drop that stuff. Jesus said, divest yourself of all that possesses you. He didn't say, give all your possessions to Congress or the church. He said, get rid of all the things that possess you inside. All of these notions and concepts, get rid of those things. Realize who you are.